I'm looking forward to be the chocolate Perry Mason when I go into court <laughs> to, uh, to get, plead my case, you know. That's New York City Mayor Eric Adams vowing to fight his own city hall after he was ticketed for rats at his Brooklyn townhome a second time. Yeah, that's the key, a second time, but that's not the only thing he's upset about when he became mayor. Adams saying former Mayor Bill de Blasio and his administration, quote, left the house in total disarray. According to The Hill there, Adams even added the Bloomberg and Giuliani administration have been checking in to see if they need any help. Ryan Anderson is former New York City Commissioner of Records under uh, Rudy Giuliani, Michael Bloomberg, joining us live here. So how about that? Uh, an off-topic tirade of sorts from the current mayor of New York City. Well, one of the requirements of being mayor of the city of New York is a thick skin. And I hear that Mayor Adams does not quite have that. You're always going to be criticized by your predecessors. But I guess, the, you know, the delight the Democrats in Congress are taking in watching the Republicans savage each other is the same thing that's going on here. Um, but you know, again, at least my administrations, the ones I served in, always step forward to say, how can we be helpful? Because we live here. I'm not a fan of Mayor Adams, but I want him to be successful. Because again, I live here. But it was a minor personality that criticized him that really got under his skin. It was just unfortunate to see that. What is it about the former administration that is uh, being cited by Eric Adams as causing him delays in progressing with his own agenda? Well, he says he le they left the house in disarray. Uh, they just did such a bad job. You know, they, they raised taxes. I mean, there's a lot of funding for the Department of Education that now they're turning around and saying that he's cutting, mm -hmm. you see. So he's, he's sensitive to that. And, uh, well, he shouldn't be. You yeah. know, the interesting thing, too, uh, keeping it in, uh, talking about New York City, is Mayor Bill de Blasio, maybe you've seen this, too, he's tweeting out that he wants to help Mayor Eric Adams. He wants to see Adams succeed. You haven't really heard a lot from de Blasio, and now you're, you're seeing this show of support. True, and he's been a gentleman about it, but it's just the underlings that think they're somebody else. I mean, this particular uh, communications guy, I'm not even sure who he is. Why he let him get under his skin, I have no clue. Well, talking about underlings, rats. Uh, <laughs> back to the rats. So we brought this story before. They were trying to appoint a czar for a six-figure salary to uh, get a hold of the problem in Manhattan about this. Um, and it obviously is one. And if you've been here, you've seen some. They are as big as your dog uh, sometimes. They, but they, they tend to, again, gain in size. What, what's happening here? And ha did, that, did that rat czar ever get appointed? Not that I'm aware of. They haven't looked at my resume yet. But no. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's very frustrating because, again, he, he spent a lot of money to really t take care of this issue. And, and he's getting ticketed again for, obviously, whenever the inspector was there, they saw something. So uh, it's a problem. But he's going to take him to court. He's going to be like a regular citizen and, and fight this, as he should. But yeah. it's a big problem. You take issue, I'm assuming, with the, the rat population in New York City. Have you noticed, has it gotten worse over time? Well, you know, you give them, you give them the food source, they're going to be there. You know, they've been with us since the, the founding of this country. They're not going away anytime soon. It's just you don't want them in your apartment building and, you know, where you see them. But they're always going to be around, whether it be on the subway tracks or in landfills. Well, why wouldn't they? I mean, yeah. they come for the food. Everyone comes everybody. for the food. The everybody does. The pizza, the, pizza. the bagels, <laughs> right? What do they say? It's the water here, <laughs> the, the bread there, either way. We feed the rats well. Uh, New yeah. York City. And they're they're not tough leaving. rats. They're tough rats. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Brian Anderson, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.